Hello everyone, Misfit Gaming here. Welcome to my channel. Today we're back here in Macarena. And as you can see in my hangar, I have the Helix 12s on my kill shot. Now the whole purpose of this video is I wanted to see what it would take for me to actually get the Helix 12s, as well as to try to win the playoff event that had both the legendary implants for damage as well as range for the Helix 12s. And because of that, I want to actually talk about the whole playoff event structure and why I think things really do need to be changed going forward. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna see the results here. As you can tell, I actually did win it by a margin of about 12,000 points. And how I did that was I actually spent about 15, 16,000 A coins just to be able to kind of get over the hump there and, and guarantee, quote unquote guarantee, that I would actually get the two implants. Now, it's not something I would actually recommend you doing. I, I mainly did it because I wanted to see what it would take for me to actually get a setup that I wanted. And, you know, that's, that's what it took. It took me probably a little bit over a million credits, about a million and a half credits, as well as those, you know, 15,000 uh, A-coins. Now, that being said, I'm just throwing in the game here in the background just so you can watch something while I talk about it. Uh, I... I I feel that the whole playoff event structure is completely Three, flawed two, and one, it's been flawed go. since the day it came out. One of the issues I have with the playoff event is the fact that it ends at the end of, end of the day and because you're, well, end of the day, but for me it ends at 2 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. I don't know about you, but I have no desire to be waiting up at 2 a.m. just so I can monitor the progress and see if there's anything else, whether it's you know, spending a little more A coins and whatnot so I can kind of bump myself up. So while if I had in a better time zone for me to monitor that, I wouldn't have had to probably spend the extra 12,000 A coins or whatever it was that I needed to to get first place. I could have monitored a little bit more consistently and not spend as much resources. But because I didn't want to wait up until 2 a.m., I just basically overloaded on uh, my points to hopefully discourage the person number two or number three to try to outgain me into the, the first spot now but that being said uh, the, the whole playoff has absolutely nothing to do with playing the game the, for the vast majority of the times the, those who win first place are those who are willing to spend money and spend resources and that is unfortunate in you know especially in today's uh, market where everybody is kind of wanting to try these things and we just really need a different mechanism in order to do this. Uh, you have players out there who actually do grind it out or try to grind as much as possible. And what they end up doing is usually in the last half hour or something, uh, they end up losing the first spot because somebody is willing to come in and spend money and just be able to take that spot from them. Whereas they've probably spent several uh, days trying to grind out the amount of points that they actually had currently on there. And if you look at the playoff events right now, the, uh, the rewards you get for grinding are minuscule compared to those for using resources up. Actually, back in the day, they, uh, and I can't remember when they made this change, and it wasn't too long ago, but there actually used to be another uh, task in there where you didn't just use eight coins, but if you actually went and bought eight coins, you would get points. And that was just absolutely absurd in my opinion. So what I feel really needs to be done, oh, and the other thing, problem I have with these playoff events is sometimes it's all about ego, about, you know, I, they, somebody wants to always be the best or wants to always have top spot, and what they end up doing is they will win these events for items that they already have. And yes, they'll get, I, I believe it's some A-coins in kind of exchange because they already have the, the item, but you're taking those items away from somebody who actually doesn't have it. So it's, it, you're just frustrating your player base more just the way this is all set up because of, you know, in summary, as the, the time zone issues, the, the way that people can gain a large amount of points by simply using or spending resources in the game, and as well as players who you know, have gotten these rewards before are now taking them away from players who don't have them simply because they want to be top spot. Now, my, my idea here, what I think should be done is these playoff events, and even you can stretch it as far as tournaments, should be completely point-based in the sense that when you get to a certain amount of points in the playoff, you get guaranteed rewards. So if 100 people, or however many people are in your playoff, I think it's like a 
20 or 30 uh, player pool. But if everybody, for instance, gets the, the total number of points needed, everybody gets the reward. So in this last one, let's say just for numbers sake, let's put out that at uh, no, 5,000 points, you got the, the epic rewards. So the, the epic implants. At you no know, 10,000 points, you got, say, the Helix Range Extender. At 15,000 points, you then got the Helix Damage Legendary Implant. Uh, then, you know, you have a means that if anybody wants to really buy their way through the playoff event, they can still buy, they can still spend money. Uh, Player is still going to get rewards, you know, their, their dollar amounts for that. But then you also have on the flip side, the players who are the free to play players or the casual spenders, they can come in, they can grind those points and they're not gonna get frustrated that they spent so much time grinding those points that uh, at the very, on the, the 12th hour or the 11th hour, somebody's gonna come in and spend money and take the top spot and then they don't get the rewards. So if, if players actually come in and put in the effort and the, and the willingness to grind and get those points in total, they're also guaranteed that reward. So if a player in this last event that I was in, that I used a whole bunch of resources to catapult myself into first place, uh, if, if they had actually grinded out you know, 15,000 points, which the, the top player underneath me had 16,000, then they would still be guaranteed that top spot. If player wanted to put in a little bonus in there for players to get first, second, and third, to get maybe a little bit extra A coins, uh, that'd be fine as long as they don't they they wouldn't go in and give legendary implants as the bonus reward because then it completely negates what I'm talking about here. Uh, but these the in my opinion we really need to make these point guaranteed point total based events and you know as as we go forward then the whole community will actually uh, be more in tuned with actually participating in these events and not being frustrated. So you, Plarium gets a win because the whales are still gonna spend and get the, these uh, rewards, these top rewards. The, the non-spending players will, will be happy because they can grind these out with points and they're, they're guaranteed those top rewards. So they don't have to worry about people coming in and catapulting like I did in this last event over top of them. Uh, so they're going to be happy. Uh, you you then remove the whole time zone element from it because as long as you, you get the point totals you need, you don't have to worry about, in my case, staying up till 2 a.m. to kind of watch the progress. It's a win-win across the, the entire way. And, and I wish Playroom would actually maybe take a little bit of a step back and, and think about uh, overhauling this playoff event system because after all the the way they are right now it has nothing to do with playing the game it's all about who is willing to spend the most money on the most resources as quickly as possible and yeah it's just it's, it's just unfortunate uh if you're going to go ahead and do this though i really do feel that the the playoffs should have tasks i'm trying to see if i can if there i can see any tasks in here I can't even get the reward. Oh, this one is... See, that, that was an example right there. You see, if I had actually gone in and tried to play this particular playoff, I would get some A-coins in exchange because I already have the Tengu. Uh, but anyways, getting back to my previous thought, that if we go ahead and implement something like this, I would like to see the tasks involved for points being increased for, for those tasks that are grindable. So the, right now, the, the points you get for a grind task, whether it's winning a couple, some games in a row or doing a certain amount of uh, damage, or I, I can't remember, there, there's various other ones, you know, opening crates, et cetera, et cetera. But they're, they're minuscule compared to the points you get for spending eight coins. And previously in, in you know, a, a month or two ago when they had it, to spend a not to, to uh, buy eight coins. Uh, also, I think there was one recently where you actually got the most rewards for opening up championship crates, which you, there's no way to get those unless you actually buy them. So, you no, know, it's it, just take a step back, make these playoff events actually true playoff events, put in tasks with decent uh, amounts of um, points you get for each individual task, allow the players to grind them out, and then guarantee those rewards at certain thresholds of point values. To me, that's how this really should be. And I hope Playroom will take a step back and look at these playoff events uh, as a total, as a whole, as a community, and restructure them so that they'll, they'll still get their payouts that they usually do, 
but then also the the community will be happy because they can actually then grind for these resources. Unfortunately, what usually is the excuse we hear from Plarium sometimes is that it will cause imbalance in the game if too many people get these rewards, which I, I, I don't believe personally, because ultimately what you want is a competitive game where more players are on an equal footing. And the way it is right now, when you get these legendary implants or the legendary weapons or legendary pilots, they perform so much better than the other ones that most the other player base can get. So if you want a competitive game, if you want a happy community, then take a step back and actually restructure some things like the playoff events, like the tournaments, so that it's more advantageous for everybody as a whole. But you're still going to be making money anyways behind the scenes because people are th those who are currently spend are still going to spend. But then you're also making the, the other opposite end of the spectrum of the community happy because now they have a means to actually grind for these things and come out ahead as well. And then everybody can make progress towards building up their hangers in this game. Anyways, what are your thoughts? What do you think? Am I completely out of left field on this? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Anyways, with that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Until next time, cause some mayhem on the field for me.